Okay, so just on taking our peptides, okay, so this here, um, BPC157, this is a 10 milligram vial that I have mixed up with two mil of backwater, okay? So two mil is equivalent to 200 units on a syringe. So just in terms of the dosage, to make this real simple, a lot of people overcomplicate it. So we've used 200 units or two mil of water, um, there's 10 milligrams of BPC in this vial, Okay, so 10 milligrams is 10,000 micrograms. So we're just gonna divide, so see here on the calculator. So 200 units divided by 10,000, okay? And that's gonna give us 0 0.02. So that's how many units will give us one microgram of BPC. Our dosage for this BPC in every injection is 250. So I'm just gonna multiply that by 250, okay? And that's giving me five. So it's five units that I'm gonna take in every injection, okay? So on our syringe, we're basically wanting to draw this out to the five mark, five units, okay? I am using a 0 0.5 mil syringe, and we can use 0 0.3 mil either. The one mil syringe, the smallest mark on it is 10, so it does make it a little bit harder, okay? So I recommend 0 0.5 or 0 0.3 mil syringe. So just in terms of actually doing this then, we obviously need our syringe, our peptide, and an alcohol pad just to clean things. Make sure that we wipe down just the, the vial before we actually draw out the injection. Okay, with our syringe. Okay, so we're just popping that in. We're just gonna draw this out now until we have five units. And sometimes it will draw air, that's fine. Just do it until the liquid has come to five units and um, we need to get rid of any air bubbles then so I do this by holding the syringe up and just flicking the syringe till the air is at the top okay and just make sure that we drive out any air okay, and there should be just a little bubble of liquid coming to the top when there's no air left okay so in terms of actually administering the injection then we're just gonna do it sub-Q into the fat. Uh, if you're doing BPC for an injury, people say that it is best to put it close to the site of injury. Um, some other people say it doesn't matter if you're doing a sub-Q, so it will go around and it will basically end up where it needs to be. Anyhow, I always do it close to the site of injury if it, I do have an injury. Um, so for this example, I'm just gonna show this one in the leg. Okay, I'm just gonna put it in the thigh. Okay, so we're just gonna put this into the fat of the, the leg here. Um, again, just make sure, okay, that we wipe down the area with the alcohol pad where we're gonna inject. Okay, and it's very simple then, it's just into the fat. And there's no pain with this, it's just a very small insulin injection into the fat, okay? There shouldn't be any like blood or anything like that. If there is, you're doing something wrong. Okay, very straightforward. Okay, so this GHK peptide I'm also taking at the moment, all right? And this is a 50 milligram vial, and I need to take three milligrams of this a day. So again, I added two mil of water, so that's 200 units, okay? And divide this by 50,000, okay? Because 50 milligrams is 50,000 micrograms, and that's giving me 0 0.004. Now, I need to multiply that by 3,000 because I need three milligrams of this in every dose, okay? And that gives me 12. So on this particular one, I need to take 12 units. So on my syringe, I will be drawn out to the 12 mark, okay? It's basically just two lines past 10. So just make sure we actually clean our vial with our alcohol swab, okay? This one is actually blue, so it might even be easier to see. So there's a lot of air in this one, but just when it gets down to the 12 mark, so two lines past 10. Okay, and now we just need to get the air out of that syringe by keeping it upright. Okay, just flick it to get any air bubbles to the top. And once all that air is out, you can see the liquid starting to bubble out now, okay? So with 12 units in this, that's giving me three. Uh, milligrams per dose, okay? So this one, I'm just gonna show you how to inject it into the stomach fat. Okay, so with this one here, we're just gonna go into the fat on our stomach. Again, make sure we clean the area with our alcohol swab. 
Okay, I'm syringing. Okay, I always like to give it a little, just wipe down after, probably not necessary, and done.